General McLear, a dispatch of gray troops just took off from the beaches towards blue shores. I knew those sneaky grays were up to something. Send a radio transmission to the blues, Hunter. Let them know what's going on. Meanwhile, I'm gonna go have a word with Jason. McLear went to Jason's estate, where he found him with a large guard. Luckily, McLear had brought similar troops in anticipation of trouble. Well, 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 McLear. Looks like your spies found our little excursion. Don't interfere, and we will be able to continue our alliance like nothing happened. You know we can't do that, Jason. This isn't how you conduct a war. Also, I'm getting a sneaking suspicion that you were the ones behind the assassination of the Blue Leader. Well, aren't you a perceptive one, McLear? Maybe a little too perceptive for your own good. Don't try anything, Jason. I've got flame troops on the lookout. You touch me, you all burn. McLear wasn't lying. Flame troopers were waiting to torch everyone at the first sight of trouble. Well, I never expected this kind of a thing from you, McLear. Smart. Maybe you've got some blue jeans in you after all. Well, I guess you'll keep on living. For now. But let this be a formal declaration of war from the prestigious Grey Army to you, the Tans. You're going to regret this, Jason. You're a fool to believe you'll gain anything from making war with every single clan in the Plastic Kingdom. Ah, but you forget, the Plastic Kingdom isn't the whole world. You're also self-absorbed, you forget about the bigger picture. There are more allies out there for me. Now, I think you best leave. I believe you're right. Mark my words, Jason. We'll be taking our vengeance for this betrayal. Back on the Blue Island, Commander Barr was discussing resource management with his economic advisor. A blue soldier walked up to the two men. Sir, I'm sorry to interrupt, but we got word from a tan radio signal that the Grey Army has gone rogue and is sending a fleet this way. Is this from a secure transmission? This isn't just a prank, right? Sir, I can guarantee this is for real. We are being invaded. Alright, run Protocol D. Get our troops onto the shore defenses and retreat all civilian populations back inland. Also, you better send word to the Tans that an alliance is in order between our two factions. It's the least we can do, not to mention, it's what we need right now. The coastal defenses were set up, and the blue soldiers waited for their enemy to be upon them. Hey guys, what's going on? Daily Tactics here, and I am back with another episode of the Army Men Civil War series. Now, today, we have the infamous blue defense of uh, their own little island here. Now, the greys have betrayed the blues and are sending forward an invasion fleet. They arrived on these boats. They have gotten off in shallow waters. Um, I, I meant to have the boats actually like land on the beach, uh, but then they, this map is weird and the boats actually don't move because the water's too shallow. So uh, let's just say the water, well, it, it was too shallow. So the, um, the soldiers hopped off here. They brought a few tanks with them, uh, probably brought in on boats and dropped off in the shallow waters. Uh, they have five Sherman tanks, and then they have a whole bunch of infantry, and they're all going to be attacking these beaches here where the Blue Army is positioned. They have a whole line of bunkers here uh, with uh, different pillboxes and all sorts of good stuff where the Blues are defending. They've got one tank right here looking sweet and uh, tons of infantry to defend with. Uh, then we get into this little town area where this guy apparently didn't go to his position. Soldier, get in that house. Um, and there are men in these houses and uh, along these fences, stuff like that. There's one more tank here. Uh, then we go into kind of uh, empty open field space. And then we get another line of, uh, of trenches here. And uh, after this line of trenches, we've got this factory area where more troops are positioned. And then finally, the main base is back here with uh, a ton of soldiers all within it. Uh, and so the Greys have to get through quite a bit of defenses to actually make it in. Uh, the Greys' last few attacks haven't really worked out for them. So maybe this one will, maybe it won't. I guess we'll just have to watch and find out, and it'll be pretty exciting. So let's go ahead and get press start here. And here come the Greys. Marching on forward, looking sweet as ever. Here they go. They're just kind of talking to themselves, prepping for this horrible beach assault that they're going to have to go through. I imagine quite a few losses will be had uh, in this beach assault. The tanks aren't moving forward maybe when the fighting starts. I think I might have accidentally not programmed them to move forward. That's my bad. They'll, they'll move forward eventually, though. Um, here's a nice little bunker of the blues that we can see. They will soon be in action as uh, as the greys get closer and closer here. 
Still no shots quite yet. I think they have to make it on the beach. And there we go. There's some shooting, actually. And uh, the Greys unleash their own fire. Uh, we see a few explosions going off in the, uh, in the distance. The Greys are firing from the water here. Sprinkling the beach. Oh my god, there's quite a, quite a few explosions. Whoa, okay. Uh, well, the Blues are firing away themselves. And the Greys have made it onto the beach somewhat. They are uh, progressing forward slowly but surely here. Let's see, are there tanks coming forward? Their tanks are coming forward, speeding ahead, trying to catch up with, uh, with their troops. Oh my god. This is intense, man. Explosions are going off everywhere. That might be programmed into the map because I didn't do that. I guess the Blues are, are launching some artillery strikes here and uh, trying to gun down a few of these, uh, these, these men here. Soften them up. Here comes the tank moving forward on the beach itself. Oh my god, these are going to make for some amazing screenshots. Uh, it looks like the tank did just take a bit of a hit there. Uh, but it is progressing forward regardless. Ooh, the blue tank in the distance has been completely destroyed. That did not last too long. Oh my god, and it just blows up even further right there. Have any of the gray tanks gone down? No, all of the gray tanks seem to be doing just fine. Uh, actually, maybe th this one back here did go down. Okay, one gray tank has gone down, I guess. Uh, this blue bunker here is uh, all cleared out. All of those soldiers are dead. Uh, and the bunkers above are slowly being cleared out as uh, as the troops seem to just be absolutely getting wrecked inside. A few guys with grease guns in that one. Uh, this one's all dead. The lads over here are dead. The guys in there are dead. Uh, but the trenches are still going pretty well. This guy's with a bazooka trying to fight off this gray Sherman that's advancing pretty steadily forward. And he gets a nice hit there, but did it do anything? No, I don't believe it did. Maybe it decrewed a few guys, but uh, I don't think it actually did any real damage to that tank that's going to put it out of commission anytime soon. Um, the rest of the lines over here are opening up with their own fire. We got an M60 over here just shattering men down at the beach. As we can see, it's leaving a wake of, uh, of dead gray troopers in its path. Very, very cool. The troopers are starting to actually move up the beach and towards the... Uh, the little uh, w canyon walls here. A whole bunch of them over here. If that tank was still alive, it would have a field day. But uh, sadly, it did go down, which is too bad. And uh, these trenches are still putting up a good fight, though. Um, we do have a rocket trooper right here, perhaps launching a few rockets at the uh, unsuspecting greys. Actually, they might be suspecting. Who knows? Um... The left side actually seems to be holding a little bit better for the Blues, especially with this M60 being able to just rattle down on the beach. Um, it's actually gotten quite a few kills, as we can see here. Uh, the middle is, is suffering for the Blues, though. I mean, look at all these troops over here. It even lags when we go over to this area. The main trench uh, area over here, though, is, is still holding strong. It's got M16s firing away. Grenades are going off. This rocket trooper's still alive. Oh, and he's got a buddy over here alive as well. Uh, and they're actually launching some some rockets at their own bunkers now which are being taken over by the greys sometimes you gotta make sacrifices like that grenades being thrown out the blues are doing literally everything they can here to just stop the greys from making it mainland um, they need to protect their home here we got an m60 just rattling off those things are absolute beasts and they are chopping these uh... these grey boys to bits actually they're doing a great job right now uh... they're doing a full hold here Except the middle is starting to become crippled. Uh, we've still got a few soldiers with M16s alive firing away at these guys. Uh, we got a few rocket troopers firing their ammo into them. Uh, we got a batch of just dead greys right here. Uh, it seems to be a bit of a choke point, but they're making it past it with just sheer numbers and just obliterating the enemy in its in the path. Um, this trench line over here is going to be very, very effective as it's getting a nice uh, crossfire. Yeah, they're doing a they're doing a pretty pretty swell job. All right, and these guys are advancing forward. This tank is still getting hit by random rocket shells every once in a while, even though it's already just crippled. That thing is not coming back into this war. I guarantee that. Uh, this trench is actually finally beginning to be beaten down and killed. 
the left side still holding oh my god these guys are doing a great job look at this mountain of gray bodies over here um, this uh, this machine gunner here I think is the real MVP he's just shattering their uh, their assault and look at this look at all the gray bodies over here that have gone down really this this side has done a phenomenal defense so far I don't know how much longer it'll live though because they're gonna they're gonna start being attacked on the right as well uh, with the, all these gray troopers actually just making it in uh, we got more blues over here though still fighting away where are the rest of the gray tanks so this gray tank went down um, are there any other gray tanks alive that is the question oh it looks like a bunch of them decided to go off map uh, let's try to to steer them back into the fight because that's obviously not supposed to happen that's a glitch so let's get them back in there uh, oh, the uh, the M60 over here did finally go down. Oh, there's another one right here with six kills. This grease gun has two kills, not bad. Uh, this guy over here has three kills. This guy has zero, zero. Oh, greys are actually in this trench. I don't think these blue troopers noticed yet. Oh, but they did notice, and they are shooting this gray. The gray's helmet has fallen off. Uh, blue trooper deciding to throw a grenade. That is, that was stupid because now he's got to run and he gets shot in the back by another gray. This gray with a grease gun. Can he get some shots off? No, he dies. Uh, but he's got more men coming in with him. And uh, they're slowly clearing out this little bunker here. This guy's shooting a rocket in the bunker. That's maybe not the wisest decision, but oh well. Uh, and the first line of bunker defenses is starting to fall for the blues. Um, and the town is beginning to, to see a lot more action. Looks like these buildings were just... Uh, blown out of... Oh my god. They really got blown out. Holy cow. Uh, the Greys were not taking any chances with these houses and they just sort of blew them up with the occupants still in it. That's that's brutal. Poor Blues. Poor Blues indeed. Alright, well the Greys are just absolutely dominating here uh, in this bunker area, but the battle is far from over. The Blues have plenty of tricks up their sleeves. Not to mention they've still got the odd troops here and there. Uh, still alive. This left side still having a good fight. Um, putting down gray troopers as they crest this hill. Oh my goodness. The grays trying in vain to, to advance. Trying to clear these trenches. But they're just getting obliterated by these blues with their M60s and their M16s. This trench line is holding like a champ. The MVPs are over here, man. They they really are. They're just obliterating these greys. Yeah. Nice. Good job. Good job, blues. I don't know. I'm secretly kind of hoping the blues win, but I uh, I did make the, the fight as even as possible. Um, for the sake of fairness, plus for the sake of the story, you know? Um, although never not every fight in war is, is equal. Sometimes I get a... Uh, I get comments like, that fight wasn't fair or whatever, but it's like, war isn't always fair, you know? If it's a sneak attack, the, the odds are going to be in favor of, uh, of whoever's ambushing. That sort of a thing. Uh, but I did want to make this fight somewhat equal. Uh, because they're both factions who haven't been in the war very long, so they'll probably have uh, almost peak resources, that kind of a thing. They've only been involved in a few battles, so it makes sense that they be at least a little bit equal. And, uh, of course, we see the blue ingenuity uh, with their tactics here. Setting up amazing defenses. Is this tank still alive? This tank is still alive. That's going to be a huge asset for the blues, as we actually see. It's 50 cows ripping uh, down this alley and uh, cutting a few blues down. It is a very flankable tank, though, so I don't expect to see too much uh, from it. These tanks back here are just... They're just stuck. Uh, let's get them onto the beach here. Um... They just kind of went off map. Obviously, that's not supposed to happen, uh, but it did. So we're gonna just fix that. Uh, it, actually, it looks like this one has made its way up a little bit more. There's only well, they, they've got this one too back here. So uh, let's let's try and get these things back in the game here because uh, the Grays. It's one of their weapons. It's what they get. So. All right, this blue tank is uh, actually in a great position, and it is gunning down quite a few greys, as we can see right now. Uh, the greys are going to want to deal with this very soon, or it will prove to be a serious problem for for them, you know? Uh, it looks like the town has been just blown to smithereens, 
and uh, not many blues actually live in it except for this one tank which is doing a bit of a fury defense here um, Ooh, but it gets hit by a bazooka actually and it is burning through that tank is no moss that is uh, not gonna be surviving any longer let's see uh, I think that's it for the blue troopers over here I, I hear some small arms fire but I don't I don't see any blues alive oh there are some on this uh, this rock wall over here that's who they are fighting um, and this M60 is rattling off some shots at the Grey Troopers. Seems like the M60s somehow have the luck of the draw and they've survived longer than the, uh, your standard blue gun. I don't know if that's just coincidence or something like that. But, uh, this is a lot of greys for one M60 to fight. I don't see it doing very well. And it did die. Alright, um, now we see the greys are advancing forward, though. That one grey was alone, not very smart, as they reach the second line of trenches for the blues. The battle is only just beginning here, boys. The battle is only just beginning. We got a line of blues uh, on these rock walls over here as well. Really just here to slow down the gray advance. They're, of course, not expected to really stop the grays in any capacity. Just slow them down. Hope to get a few kills, maybe. And, uh, you know, that's about it. Looks like the grays are sort of all sticking to one side over here, the far right. Interesting tactic, I guess. Uh, stay together as a, as a bunch. Their tanks aren't moving forward anymore. I'm going to let their tanks do their own thing, honestly. Alright, but we do see the greys are coming into an open field here. Never a great sign. Um, we are actually seeing a few explosions in the field. I'm wondering if this field is mined. I guess we will see if the greys step on any mines here. Or maybe those were just tra uh, tracer rounds impacting. Either way, the blues have ceased fire. And it uh, looks like they're starting up one more time. They let the greys get a little bit closer before they fired in. Uh, but now they're going back into their uh, their firing patterns here. Trying to chop, chop a few of them down. We see a couple M1 Grands here. Making a stand. A couple grease guns. A couple M16s. One or two M60s in the bunch. A few bazookas. They got quite the arsenal. No more tanks left for the blues, though. As we have seen from previous episodes, tanks on defense are a little bit overpowered, and uh, I'm going to try to use less of them compared to what the ta attackers got, because uh, the last few times we've used tanks on uh, on defense, they've ended up just, d just doing so well, and it's a little unfair to the attackers. But uh, the Greys had really no problem disposing of those tanks right now. Um... And they still got quite the force available to attack here. Oh my god, a bunch of them died right here. I didn't even notice. I guess that was just from uh, this superior line defense here. Oh yeah, this is going to be a tough line for the Greys to tank. Take uh, still very doable for them though. I don't know. I would suggest they spread out a little bit more, but they're choosing not to do that. At least they're firing as one a little bit, you know, doing stuff like that. I don't know where these explosions are coming from. Maybe it is mined? I don't know. Maybe it's programmed into the map that, like, random explosions will happen. Oh, you know what? It's just these artil er, these bazooka guys, I guess. I think that's just what it is. Because as we can see, they are firing off a lot of bazooka shots. Really, not many blues have died. A few of them have gone down over here, but uh, not, not too bad. Not too bad at all. Yeah, lots of gray bazooka men still alive. The bazookas tend to sort of stay in the back, I've noticed in these uh, episodes. They don't like to advance too far ahead. They, they're, they're playing a bit more of a supporting role. Maybe that's just because their speed is a little bit less than that of the regular infantry because they have to lug around this big cannon, but... Yeah, I have noticed it. Um, this bunker just got absolutely busted, but the guy is somehow still alive inside of it. I am very impressed by that man's survivability. Many of these guys just don't have helmets anymore. They've been knocked off by, uh, by incoming gray fire. But they are still, uh, still fighting away, still pounding off rounds from their guns. Seems like less of an attack is going on on this right side over here fewer grays. There is one guy in this little uh, canyon I put here, which is kind of fun. He's hanging out, having a good time, firing away. 
uh, towards someone, I guess. I don't know. Alright, do these, uh, do these tanks need to come up? Because they're just not. I don't... I really don't know why these tanks just won't come forward. So, I guess we gotta bring them forward ourselves. Um, I mean, I put them in the game so the Greys would use them, they just refuse to. Which, I... I don't know. Whatever. Um... I guess that's the last time I'll move them, because, like, if, if they're not gonna move, I won't... I won't bother them. Either way, the Greys are firing away. Um, the Greys really don't have a good advantage here, because they aren't able to use their, their special power of artillery, you know? That's what they're known for, that's what they're good at, and... On this map, it's just not possible, because they'd have to, uh, tow it in somehow through the ocean. Uh, which just isn't feasible, so... Very much so makes it a little bit difficult that the, the one thing they are just super superior at, they're not able to use. Alright, here comes some tank support. They seem to be more interested in actually uh, fighting the tanks now, which is good. They're running over some gray bodies, chopping them to bits. Oof! This one's actually getting hit a little bit. That certain seemed to slow it down, perhaps it uh, concussed the crew within the tank. These tanks back here are uh, firing their 50 cals off the top, though. Hoping to do some supporting fire. We can see the tracer rounds impacting with this, uh, this wall back here as they rebound off of it. Look at those bullet holes. A lot of, a lot of blues are going down now. This, uh, this second line of defense right here in this trench uh, area is, is starting to quiet. But they did a great job of actually butchering a lot of the Grey Troopers. The Greys don't have a lot of troops left to advance. And this tank is uh, is tracked. That leaves them with two more tanks, tanks that are easily accessible. Um, so it does seem like the Blues are, are starting to get the upper hand in this battle. And these, uh, these Rocket Troopers are still firing away. They are devastating, especially against infantry, which um, we've seen. They can just blow up the whole whole group of men. You know, they can be very, very brutal. Oh, man. The Blues are doing a heck of a job here. I honestly thought, um... Thought the Greys would have lost a lot less men at this point, and the, uh, the... The real... The real final defense would be way back here, but... The Blues did a great job whittling down these Greys. To, uh, to the smaller force that we see now. And the Greys are still trying to advance forward. Having very little success here now. They've lost their uh, their sort of strength in numbers. Now all they've got going for them is is two fully functional tanks. And uh, oh, it looks like this tank finally uh, bit the dust and went down fully. Uh, these two other tanks, though, they're just chilling here. I don't know what's... Do I have them on movement hold? Or something like that. They're on free move. Well, there we go. This one's now moving. I don't know what's up with these things. Alright, let's just push them forward a little bit. They just refuse to actually go and do anything. They just sit in the back. Alright. Still got a few gray troops. They're, they're creeping forward here. Little by little actually making it across the map. These blues are still alive. Holy cow. Uh, looks like those... Uh, this bazooka's finally met a, uh, a solid target for him, and they tracked this tank, although it's still got its gunners. Ooh, and this tank over here seems to have died as well. And this one's taking heavy shots. Its engine is down damaged. It could very easily burst into flames any time now. That is really it for the tank support for the Greys. It is tough out here getting tracked still just adding insult to injury we see a little bit of flames coming off of it there we go the crew's bailing out more flames gulping out of the uh, the back there looking for oxygen and uh, I think it'll blow anytime soon now so if I were a gray trooper I would not be anywhere near this tank well also that guy just his legs are just sticking out of the ground that's all that's left of him brutal 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 all right, and it goes quiet ever so slightly. A few more blues are going down, we see. But I don't think enough to make any sort of a difference here. 
Still explosions coming through from both sides. And uh, machine guns begin to rattle off yet again. We see a few M60s, riflemen, M16s still alive for the Greys. But their soldiers just, they don't have the manpower, I don't think, to take the rest of this uh, this map over. Let's see here. There's still a few men just sort of staggered in the very, very back here. So let's at least get them forward, uh, participating in the battle a little bit more. Uh, I think they owe their, their comrades to go out in a blaze of glory here. Um, and we got two more here, too. So we'll get them forward. And uh, it's sort of a final stand for the Greys here. This is it. This is their last push. They don't have a lot of men. Almost all the men they have are bazooka troopers. For some reason, the bazooka troopers like to stay in the very back, like I said earlier. But uh, they're putting up a final de defense, offense type of thing here. They're just sort of laying low in their position. Here comes some bazooka troopers firing away. Getting some good shots on the lines there. I don't know if they connected with anyone, though. I don't think they connected with anyone at all, and they're starting to get shot by small arms fire. They are going down. They're yelling timber. A little uh, Katy Perry reference there for you. I think it's Katy Perry. Is it Katy Perry? I don't quite remember. Alright, either way, we got two gray soldiers here. Edwin Jenkins and Glenn Torres. Glenn has one kill, Edwin has two. Oh no, I spoke too soon. There's two soldiers over here too. There's Tony Parker and Jacob Gallagher. Looks like Tony went down. Jacob still has his bazooka. He's still firing away every so often. Fire! Alright, should we try and retreat these three out of here? Why not? Alright guys, we're, we're calling a retreat. Better late than never, that's what I always say. Gray soldiers, let's move out of here. Let's try and get you back to the boats. You can be the uh, the final survivors. All right, and let's have the blues. Let's have the blues chase them. Why not? Right? Not, like they don't want any uh, anyone s surviving. Anyone telling about their uh, their defensive position here? They they just want these guys gone. All right, so the gray men are gonna gonna try and get back to their boats here. Meanwhile, they're getting chased down by some blue soldiers. Here are the blues running through the field. Looking for some kills. Looking for those last three little, little pops to the head. Let's see if these guys can make it away. They might, actually. The blues uh, didn't have a great lead on them. Let's see. Blues, get to the shore. If you can. And, uh, and fire away at those boys, actually. These boys are, are already crossing the beaches here. Except this guy's going a bit of an alternate route. Where are you going? Where are you going? Boy, what was that? You get killed because of that. Look at this. The blues are almost at you. The blues are firing. Hey, you better run, dude. Alright. He might just get away get you guys into these uh, these boats. What are you doing now? You're just laying in the water. My man. And these blues, they're gonna they're gonna shoot at my dude. Here we go. The great escape. The great escape. Get back. They might have made it. A few more gunshots. All right, get in that boat, man. You're our driver. Let's see. It shouldn't move, I don't think. I think it's too... Yeah, it doesn't move. Let's just say they made it away. Hooray! And that is the result of the uh, gray invasion of the Blue Lands here. Uh, just sort of in a failure on the gray's part. They underestimated their their enemies. Um, so yellow are the dead gray soldiers, and that doesn't include ones that blow up because their bodies are obviously gone. Um, and red are the blue soldiers. As we can see, the blues did suffer quite a few losses here, um, and their town was absolutely ravaged. But 
uh, overall, the Grays just, oh, they got their, their butts handed to them. It was brutal, a brutal, brutal battle. Um, so, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you did. Uh, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content, and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.